Xander Bogarts is the heart and soul, one of the leaders of this Red Sox team. And according to someone close to him, he's going to leave the Red Sox. That's per John Heyman. With that out in the open and the fact that the Red Sox are in last place, trade speculation is starting to pick up. In this video, we're going to look at the Bogart situation, all of the reports that are out there, hear from Alex Cora on the subject, and discuss the possible trade destinations. Be sure to subscribe if you aren't already subscribed so you don't miss any of the upcoming content, and hit that like if you want your team to get Bogarts. So let's start with this contract. $20 million this year a player option for $20 million next year that activates four more years of $20 million AAV. Xander's no fool. He's seen the amount of money that was tossed around this last offseason for all of the middle infielders. He's got eyes for these AAVs. 35.1 AAV to Correa, 32.5 to Seager, 25 for Simeon, 23.3 to Baez, and 23.3 to Trevor Story. And of course, the icing on the cake was the signing of Trevor Story back in March. Now, Trevor Story has struggled, but there is certainly belief that he is going to right the ship. This brings us to the story from John Heyman in the New York Post. It was reported here the Red Sox offered only to add one year $30 million, which even fans and local media found insulting. Red Sox have an obvious replacement in Trevor Story, and some wonder whether that's why they made Bogarts the sub-nine-figure total offer. GM Chai Bloom insists they do want Bogarts back, and Story's off to a slow start. Here's the important part. Bogarts stayed for a hometown discount last time, but won't do that twice. Quote, he's going to leave, unquote. One friend of Bogarts predicted. On the subject of contract negotiations, John wrote back in April that the gap between the Sox and Bogarts is likely $100 million. Jim Bowden is getting in on the act, proposing a trade with the Cardinals that would send Nolan Gorman back to Boston. Gorman could play second when Story slides back to short. And John Morosi is here too, with speculation of a trade for the Cardinals. Here he is with the tweet, Xander Bogart's trade to the St. Louis Cardinals could be realistic this summer if the Red Sox continue to struggle, as I discussed with Lauren Shahadi on the MLB Network. And here is that audio that he's referencing. It does sort of serve notice to the industry the Cardinals sure. could be looking for a shortstop for both the near term and potentially the long term as well. And we talked earlier this week on this show about Xander Bogarts and Boston and what could happen there if they don't get things going. Bogarts in a Cardinals uniform would look pretty good, uh, depending on how things play out the next couple of months here. I, I do think if the Red Sox make Bogarts available, hard to find a better fit right now in the major leagues than the St. Louis Cardinals. And a trade to the Cardinals makes sense. Here's the current lineup. Notice anything missing? A shortstop. You got Sosa, you got Donovan, who's just gotten called up. They sent the young down. You add Xander Bogarts in there, and all of a sudden, this is one lineup to be afraid of. Getting back to the Sox and how we got here, Boston, last place, having trouble scoring, having trouble pitching, losing on the road, losing at home, losing to teams with sub-500 records, a 7-16 and record with teams below 500. It's bad, and you can't blame Bogarts. He's hitting for the highest team average, getting on base at the highest clip. He's doing his part, but outside of him, Devers, and JD, nothing is happening, and that's only fueling the trade speculation. Alex Cora was on WEEI Wednesday and had this to say. There's probably a story like that in, in a lot of clubhouses or a lot of teams, right? Uh Pause. No, there is not. There is not a story like that in all of the clubhouses. A high-profile player, maybe the leader of the team, people around him saying that he's leaving. No, Alex Cora, we're going to get more audio here, uh, but we have to address that real quick. The answer is no. That is not circulating through all of the clubhouses around baseball. Let's continue with Cora's comments. You know, there's guys that uh, they, they earned the right to, to become free agents after the season. In his situation, obviously, we got a deal done in 19, and uh, he has, you know, uh, 
the, the opt-out, right? And it's up to him. Uh, I think throughout the years, you know, since 18, you know, uh, our DH was supposed to opt out, you know, the whole time, right? And uh, he's, he's played his, uh, his whole contract here for us. So, J.D. Martinez, he's addressing that issue. J.D. Martinez had opt-outs. He opted back in. Different situation. Team was in a different spot. J.D. Martinez was in a different spot. J.D. Martinez not in those prime age years anymore. J.D. Martinez, this is age 34 season. Of course he was going to take this last uh, opt-in and and last year's opt-in as well. Of course, there's no doubt about that. Xander Bogarts is at a point now where he can capitalize. He can make more money. J.D. Martinez was not really in a position to go make more money. So this is not an apples-to-apples apples comparison, the Xander Bogart and J.D. Martinez situation. More audio here from Cora. Now, the way I see it, you know, he's our shortstop. He's uh, the leader of our team. He's having a, a pretty solid start, not only offensively, offensively but defensively too. And uh, we still, you know, we talk every day. And, uh, you know, we don't talk about that. You know, I don't, I don't know who the friend of the friend of the friend is. but Another one. Uh, pause. The friend of the friend of the friend. No, it's a friend close to him. Don't let's. <laughs> this is that's three now. That's that's three flags that we can throw on these comments from Cora. I'm not even going to play the rest of it. He talks about how he talks to Cora. Uh, he talks to Bogarts and Bogarts is the shortstop of the team. Yes, we get that. Three flags that we can throw on these comments from Alex Cora. So not doing much here. And Alex Cora might not be the manager of the team next year if this current situation continues. Now, let's talk about the trades. Uh, we'll talk about potential trade teams here. Now, yes, certainly the Cardinals. That was mentioned by Morosi. Uh, that is one of the trade scenarios for Bowden. I get that. That makes sense. Totally makes sense. During the offseason, Cardinals fans, you wanted Trevor Story. I think right now, if you could see how Trevor Story is playing and maybe be in the mix for Xander Bogart, you'd be happy the way things have turned out. So Cardinals are in the mix. How about the Chicago White Sox? Why not the White Sox? They have really nothing great going on at second. Uh, Tim Anderson, can you move Tim Anderson to second and have Xander Bogarts be your shortstop? I think that that would be a winning play. You need to improve your defense Chicago White Sox and White Sox fans, you know what I'm talking about. Bogarts would give you that. And again, if you can lock him in, the plan for the White Sox is to continue to win for years down the road, have aspirations to win now, have aspirations to win for many years to come. That's all of the teams that are going to be in the mix for Bogarts. White Sox are in that group. Also, the San Francisco Giants, if we're talking about a trade here, we're looking at a team that, you know, how much longer is Brandon Crawford going to be there uh the Longoria contract that's not going to last forever you've got a, a Rodon contract that Rodon can opt out if he surpasses certain innings so San Francisco can actually kind of sort of find themselves with some money uh moving forward and the need so the Giants could be in the mix as they try to stay competitive in the National League West and the next team we're going to talk about you know if LA is involved San Francisco should be doing their due diligence but the Dodgers also feel like a potential fit. Now, Trey Turner is there right now. If they're not going to get a Trey Turner deal locked in, do you go Bogarts? You move Turner back to second for the playoff stretch. Bogarts is your shortstop. You reunite Bogarts and Betts. Is there something there? There's money coming off of the books that was initially allocated to Trevor Bauer that is no longer going to Trevor Bauer. So the Dodgers... Maybe find themselves with some money that they can throw at Xander Bogart. So there are some serious contenders here that could be going for Xander Bogarts. It's going to be interesting to watch. Comment and let me know if you want your team to go for bogey. So we've got a lot of trade partners again. The White Sox, the Cardinals, San Francisco, the Dodgers. I think we're really just scratching the surface there. You could run deep with this. The Padres could probably be a team if you want to move Tatis back to the outfield. I don't know if you really want to do that. But Fernando was playing in the outfield last year. Uh, teams could line up and try to find and make room for Xander Bogarts if he does, in fact, become a possible trade piece here. Again, that is the word. He's going to leave. This coming from a friend close to Xander Bogarts. And again, it has kicked up all of the trade speculation. Comment below. Let me know what you think. Do you want your team to get Bogarts? Are you good as is? Red Sox fans, 
where are you with this? You're probably pushing back on this. And I would too. If I was a Red Sox fan, I would push back on this hard. But the fact that the matter is you cannot ignore it. The team is not playing well. The ownership may decide, you know what? Maybe we go in a different direction. If this team right now is not going to get it done with this manager, with this group of players, J.D. Martinez is done after this year. That money, J.D. Martinez is, that's it. Uh, the fact that Boston offered what they offered, knowing that J.D. Martinez's contract comes off the books, is another insulting slap in the face. Boston has not done what they need to do to get an extension done. I believe they could have. I think they're messing this up. I think they're messing this up. Comment again, Red Sox fans, let me know what you think. Can you trust the organization to make the right decision here? All right, everybody, that's going to do it for this one. I remind everybody to subscribe so you don't miss any of the upcoming content and hit that like to show your support for the video. Hitting the like is the best way to do that. I will add some links to some of my other content for you to check out here now. I appreciate you spending some time with the channel, and thank you for watching my video.